Hey everybody, my name is LeBron Arnwine. And I'm Jessica Height. And welcome to The, the Journey. Journey. Now, in our first episode, um, I think it's important that we talk about working together or producer-artist relationship. Um, it's like any other collaboration in the fact that you're going to work differently. Uh, LeBron thinks completely different than I do about a lot of things. Most of the time, I'm right, but we we still. <laughs> This might be oh, we, <laughs> did you hear what I said? Wow, I was Let talking about the whole wrong Most way. of the time I'm right, but sometimes he comes through and it's like, oh gosh. Uh, quick thing, know your microphones because I was talking in his microphone the wrong way the whole time. Well, so y'all gonna hear all this, all these mistakes, but not cutting any of this out. <laughs> You're gonna know that I was wrong. And I admit, see part of it is admitting that you was wrong as she tends to do most of the time because I am the right one. Continue your story because it was so good. Go ahead. Well, anyway, we work completely differently in so many different areas, not even just like production, you know, singing, whatever. Our thinking processes and our brainstorming processes are also very different, which we learned mm -hmm. when we got in the studio for the very first time to record my first album. But when I am in a session and I like to think through stuff, I'm not a, I don't blurt things out. In my head, I like to process quietly and perfect it as closely as I can to what I want it, like the best version I could give people. Um, you know, so I overthink, I'm an overthinker. LeBron's very different. So anything we're about to say, there's no wrong way to process and get your thoughts out. Just people are different. And that's the beauty too, I think in a lot of ways of collaboration and working together with somebody that thinks different than you because I want to be able to hear things and see things from a different point of view to bring out the best result in the song yeah. or in the music. For me, I'm a let it rip kind of person when I am writing or arranging. No matter how bad it is and how bad we can laugh about it, <laughs> I'll just say anything to get the ball rolling. You know what I mean? Jessica is not that way. We didn't know that when we first started working together. We did. So we laugh now, but at the time, I'm sure you were frustrated. I, I, was, I was like, why are, are you, I'm are you your here? your whole album. And, uh, so she had wrote a beautiful song. It's called You Never Give Up. She wrote it. We get to the studio, you know, at that point, you know, she, that's her first real studio experience. So she didn't know how to communicate necessarily with a producer to just say what she wanted, to just be like, I don't like that, change this. I took her song that was very, it was a ballad and I made it extremely gospel at the end. Didn't know that's what she, that's the background I came from. I I don't, that, I'm not gospel, y'all. I didn't know that she didn't like that, but she never said anything. It's not that I didn't like it. I thought I could do it. I, I didn't mm. know what I, as an artist, you don't always know your sound and it will change as yeah. you do things. Unfortunately, I didn't discover that I wasn't good at it or didn't like it till after the album Well, in gospel music, you know, it is heavily lead vocal heavy. It is backgrounds are saying the same three words, God did it, for the next 13 minutes. And the leader is basically preaching the song. I'll preach. So we get to this end part of this song, You Never Give Up. And she's just looking with a blank stare. Like, just, just go sing something, say anything, <clears throat> you know, whatever. I process, I need a minute. I can't just open my mouth and let work. Now on stage, that's different in the moment, whatever. But in the studio, when I know it's about to be recorded and put out, I'm like, look, I don't. And this was our first time ever recording together. It was, it was. I was very nervous. Yeah. I was like, what if I make a fool of myself? He's like, why am I working with this girl? Why am I doing, I was very nervous. She's just sitting there with a blank stare. So I'm literally writing every ad lib on this song. And at one point I was like, hey, you know, you got any ideas? She was like, yeah. <laughs> Not in her head. So I'm, so I'm thinking, okay, she's she get ready to say something. So I just keep on going in my zone. I'm just saying stuff, trying to get the ball rolling. And I look back and she has this look of utter defeat I was on done. her face. Like, I was done. And I, I said, are you going to say anything? I didn't know what to say. <laughs> but to see where we have come <laughs> from then to hey, now. You still do that now, though. Because what? we know that now. Like, we yeah. think through stuff now. Am and, I playing it? Yeah. She can play a little bit of this song. This was back from like 2015, oh. y'all. Oh, it ain't playing. What studio were we in? Uh, dwelling Room Studio in Cleveland, Tennessee. Yes, we sure were. Uh, 
Wait, pause real quick. So this is like a, re- a cell phone recording of what we listen to through the speakers. It's a voice memo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, a voice memo. So these ad libs that you're about to hear, it's her. Because we didn't want to forget. Note to self, songwriters, singers, all things, voice memos will be your best friend. So we just hit record and we let it play. For, so you'll hear dead silence. Now this is her voice, but these are my words, y'all. <laughs> Mine. Go ahead. <laughs> Then we're ready now. It's playing. I don't That's the silence. The price like, so that you pay. Oh, y'all you know me. For me. He's sitting just like that, singing with his hand, his face in his hand. She frustrated me. I don't deserve oh. it. Mm-hmm. The price that you pay. Yeah, if I get singing skills. Calvary, God, you did it for me. God, you did it for me. Ooh, I knew I was a singer. Yeah. When I gave you eyes, yeah. And you had already written yeah. that. Yeah. It's coming, girl. It's coming, girl. It's coming, girl. You can tell. That wouldn't be us okay. now. This took me back. Even my outfit I was wearing looked like I was in 1935. But that wouldn't be us now. You said, you got it, girl. You got it. Now I'd be like, Jessica. Hurry up. Please. Right. I'll try to be encouraging. You snatched me. He said, no. <laughs> <laughs> Look, she get happy. Like that. I did the work. <laughs> At least we have it all recorded now. The devil thought he had me. The devil thought he had me. <laughs> See, Brian? <sighs> now, final version, he did a lot of work. <laughs> I sang a little bit, though. I sang a little bit on it. Oh, he said, you're right. The bell. Really turned out great. It did. Shut the There's dance match. No check. condemnation in you, Jesus. No, no. I remember. Because your blood is enough. Here we go again. Your blood is enough. Your blood, your blood was shed on Calvary. You did it for me, and now I am free. They pierced you in your side. the rest of the way and you did all these too shout out to the youngs yeah Nathan Suzanne Young oh yeah we'll say that in a minute yeah so real quick this was a, col- a collaborative thing mind you we were our first time working together, my first studio session, I was producing a record like on my own, you know, like from yeah. conception, from, you know, Jessica brought a song that she had written already to arranging it and putting All the pieces it. together. Like a producer's job isn't just like the creativity, like playing chords to a melody and lyric. It is oversight of a project from beginning to end. That's scheduling studio time, talking to engineers, that's making sure the players know what's up, that's sending out reference tracks. Everything, sometimes I produce records that I don't even play on. I haven't done anything. It's just the oversight. Shout out to James Machek, who was very pivotal to me in my production journey. He took time, and people don't do it anymore. He took time to teach me, and even if he wouldn't telling me certain things. He let me sit in the room while he was doing sessions and I was like a fly on the wall, able to pick up little, you know, tricks that he was doing. Uh, But we had Nathan and Suzanne Young saying backgrounds on this project. All the backgrounds. Two people. And I think he sang some of the Sopranos stuff. They all sang every part. Both of them sang every part. Killing Uh, it. The first time I ever did anything where you send files, you know, via, you know, online, uh, 
email, email or whatever you know what i mean doing that type of thing uh so that was a great thing uh my brother played bass on it you know uh so shout out to him jared white who's played on almost every record I think everything i've done yeah uh jared that jessica's it. done james mixed and mastered it for us and he took it to the other that i could have never taken it to jessica saying and uh, is that a solo right or did you write that with somebody else oh i did write it and i had like missing lines josh lynch came through he came josh through lynch. for real well, you'll hear a whole lot more about josh lynch throughout the rest of these next few episodes because he just you know it's great so thank you oh go ahead you say no thank you thank you for <laughs> joining us for our first official episode of whoop, the whoop. journey this one is called you never give up you can find the full track on soundcloud you can listen to the whole thing uh you can click the link yep right uh, now right now and find it. Thanks for joining us for this episode. Again, I'm Jessica Height. And I'm LeBron Arnois. See you next time. <laughs>